on YouTube and welcome to episode 28 of Summer Shredding. Now, last night I spent a lot of time editing on Final Cut, trying to figure out how to use it and basically it's a success. So, very basic to begin with, um, a few bits that maybe are a little bit more complicated but not that much, not that complicated at all. So, really good start. Um, I managed to edit two videos last night, I managed to edit the one that you you saw on the first video back basically, a hiatus, it's called, I think it's called You Deserve an Explanation, and another one which was episode 14. Now, turns out they're massive files if you edit them right from, from Final Cut. The episode 14, I know it was really long but it turned out to be 40 gigabytes, so it's still uploading from last night just now. Now that's because MacBook Pros and I think MacBook uh, iMacs as well, but I'm not sure on this. Don't actually have an Ethernet port. You've got to buy a thing to use an Ethernet port, which I think is really cheeky, but it keeps them really slim line. So I guess it's sort of six or one half a dozen here. Uh, so currently I'm working off my Wi-Fi, so it's going to be a while to upload things at the moment. But anyway, back to the stuff you care about. <laughs> Right, so this morning I weighed in and I was 166.9 pounds, I think it was 0.9, um, yeah, 166.9 and 11.9% body fat according to the Fitbit Aria scales. Now whether that's right or not, I don't know, but if it is, I'm on track because I thought I'd be more than that about now. I'm, I'm thinking of about 12 and a half, 12, um, I suppose 11.9 11 is basically 12, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so we're definitely losing body fat, we're definitely get, going in the right direction. I kind of, like, I don't really have a weight goal, but I want to get to 165 sort of thing, but that's going to happen in the next couple of days anyway. This morning I've had turkey bacon and one slice of um, gluten-free bread for breakfast. I'm going to have some more in a second. I think I'm going to have um, maybe make a protein shake or something. I'm not sure on that yet. Um, now another thing is that I've got to go out at twelve at uh, two today to go and help my mate with an engine. Um, my dad's a really really good mechanic, and he's been doing it for years, rebuilding engines and stuff. So we're going to go around and look at this motorbike engine they picked up. But that's not really relevant. It's just if two hours, two three hours go missing, <laughs> that's where it's gone. Um, so on the agenda for today, go and have a look at this engine, cooking food. Um, it's, I got the muscle food order yesterday, I didn't want to freeze it, I thought I'd just cook it all up today. Um, I'm going to tidy up my room, no, I'm going to pack my bag for Glasgow, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and maybe do a little bit more editing, because I feel like I'm getting there, but I've got a bit more to do. Um, FY, if you are using Final Cut, it's such a good program. It's just you have to, whereas before with Vegas, I could scroll through and it wouldn't play the sound as I'm tabbing each um, screen, uh, frame, whereas on the um, final cut you hear it with every frame. That's the only thing I've got to say about it, um, but other than that, fantastic bit of kit. Definitely watch some tutorials first because the reason in for the difference in quality between the first upload and the second upload is because I watched a few tutorials afterwards while it was rendering. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a really good um, really good bit of kit. Glad I bought it. It's still uploaded now. I'm going to check how much it's got left. Get some, probably a smoothie or something. Um, and I'll speak to you guys a bit later on. As, as I just said, I have a, well, uh, you know I said I was going to get something to eat. A quest bar didn't quite do the trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a smoothie. I'm going to try and make it not 500 calories this week. Um, so I'm going to play around with it and see what I can get out of it. Now, I will sh just prepare the ingredients ready. I'm not going to put the weights because it's going to be more eyeballing. And I'll talk you through it as I'm putting them in. So let me go get the ingredients and I'll be back in a guys, second. Here we have the ingredients. I have, um, I'll start from right to left. I've got my kitchen scales, which are going to be important for this. i got my blender cup, which goes on my... If I just zoom in here, it does it quite slowly. Um, <clears throat> this uh, blender thing, it's like a Nutribullet, but not quite. So that was pretty cool. I've never done that before. 
So yeah, I've got that. I've got coconut milk, which I've never used before either. I usually stick with almond milk. They look identical. I picked up the wrong one. Yes, I'm an idiot. Um, banana cream whey protein. One banana. I think that's a small banana, but it doesn't really matter. Then I've got this, which I've never tried before either. So let it focus. It is crops fruit for smoothies. It's got... Let's see if it'll focus in here. It has pineapple, mango and papaya. So I don't know how that's going to be. We'll see how well that goes and I will get into mixing it together. Now. So guys, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so straight off the bat what I'm going to do is this has measurements on the side of it when it focuses. Does it focus? Yeah, so I'm going to fill it up to... I think... Am I going to use one or two scoops of protein? I think I'm going to stick with one because then it will just keep it um, the content low. So I'm going to try and get around six. So that's eight. That's four. So I think I'm just going to put it on the scale to get six-ish out of it. So on unit ounces. Um, yeah, definitely get a scale that does all different types. I found that sometimes ounces works better than mils. You can be less sort of picky with it. That is a nice sound. So 4.6 at the moment, 5.4, 5.9. Come on, give me six. Six, there we go. So there's six. Um, so I'm going to log this as I go so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So let's go. My fitness power, if you haven't downloaded it, download it already. Um, <clears throat> I am, I th actually I haven't eaten anything for dinner yet, or put in anything for dinner yet. Um, well actually no, I can put it in lunch because I haven't put that in either. So I'm going to scan it and we'll see what the, um, what the macros on this are. So one fluid ounce times six. So with um, gold standard weight, I find that for every scoop you put six ounces of liquid in. So for me that's great, so I'm going to zero this off, put it back to grams and get a scoop of protein and then go from there. I find putting water in first before the protein is definitely a must or else it just sticks to the side. So that is 24 grams of banana cream protein. Let's see, have I put it in here already? No, I haven't, so let's search for it. Gold, standard, banana, cream. Cream, not creme. Here we go, one rounded, no, no that's not a rounded scoop. Yeah, definitely check that. My fitness power will say one rounded scoop is 31 grams. I just got a scoop and it was 23, so that's a lot less than, I need to hit, eat more protein than that. So. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here, blend it up, then because it just looks like that at the moment, so the more often you blend it, the more likely it's, it's going to turn it up. Off. Now let's put it back on the scales. Always do that, because you get all the little bit extra and it saves clearing up. So, what I've also done while this was jujin up, that's a cool word, jujin, um, I've added the... I've put them into my fitness pal, but I put them as one gram. So zero it off every time. Um, and now we're going to, I don't know how much we're going to put in, maybe a handful. It smells good though. It, this is frozen fruit. So it'll cool it down a bit. We'll go for that. 73 grams of that. That works. So that looks about right. I wasn't really farmer either. So the smoothie mix, 73 grams. Now it is worth, <coughs> sorry, it is worth putting in 73 rather than just 70. It soon adds up. I know it seems a bit tedious, but it is worth it in the long run. So now banana. Bananas are great. I found that not so long ago, at the beginning of my shred, I was really craving bananas. I wonder why that was, and I think it's the potassium. Um, in the bananas that I really sort of craved. 
is when I was doing a low uh, low carb, and often I don't get cravings. So um, that was a new one for me. Anyway, I'm going to blend it up again, put all my stuff away, and I'll see what I've done. So guys, all done. Now, I missed out a vital part in that, um, and it was a mistake that was made, blah blah blah. I had put the banana in while talking to you, so I didn't track it. Luckily, I used my brain, so I had already put 73 grams of the smoothie mix, and then it came up to 139 um, grams in total. So I thought, I know, 139 minus 73 equals 66. So the banana was quite small, but 66 grams of banana. Now, let's let it sit there a second and see what it tastes like. So, let's give this a shot. So guys, before I test it, I thought I'd make a few calculations on the macros. So the fat content of this, 2.7 grams, fantastic. One, uh, no, 31.5 grams of carbs is a little bit higher, but it's okay. And 18.9 grams of protein. Um, most of that's coming from the, well, actually 17.8 grams of that is coming from the scoop. So I'm going to test it and see what it tastes like. Sorry, that's my phone going off. Um, yeah, really damn nice actually. Really quite thick. You, if you don't like protein flavours, then it might be a bit different. But for me, really nice. Um, so guys, I it. am on my way into town. I'm going to pick up that Thunderbolt Ethernet cable thing so that I can um, upload a lot quicker. Mum's lent me 20 quid to do so, we all know I'm a little bit short at the moment. I've just bought a freaking computer for God's sake, so if I wasn't short I'd be impressed. Now, um, the reason why I'm doing it is because I think she wants to watch Netflix and things, and I pay for the Netflix, I think it's only fair. Might also get some t-shirts, but just quickly before I go, let's check out what I'm wearing so that you understand why I only need t-shirts. So here we go. I mean, there's zero, like... All my stuff is from Fat Gary, so I look freaking like I'm poor. So I do need to buy some new t-shirts. I might get some from Next, because Next are pretty damn cheap. I think they're like six pounds for a t-shirt. So I might go in and get some from there. I always like rocking boots. They make me look like I have calves. So anyway, I'm going to go catch a bus, and you can come with me. Guys, home and editing again. You can't actually see anything, but it's pretty dark. Um, but this is what I went all the way in town to buy. So, if you haven't had any problems with um, basically connectivity, I'm not sure if that's what's wrong with it or why it's taken so long. I'm going to move you over here, sorry, just quickly. There we go, I'm a, I'm a light person now. Um, in case you haven't any problems with connectivity at all, um, basically there's a few tests online to do. Uh, speedtest.net is the one I used. Beforehand I was getting about, I can't remember how much I was getting, uh, I think it was about 18 gigabytes for up, uh, download and about 2 for upload. So let's see what I've got at the moment. Sorry, you just heard part of the... Um, edit that I'm doing. It's just rendering out a few bits of the clip just now. So let's have a look at my speed test. So I had like over 326 ping, um, about 18 to 20 upload, and about, no, about 18 to 20 download, and about, about one or two upload. So let's begin the test and see what we're rocking with just now. Um, selecting best server based on ping. Right, you can watch this actually. It's interesting. So here we go. Let's see what the ping is. It's really going to be loads. As you can see, all the stuff that I'm doing at the moment. Um, so, ping's quite high. There we go. Download's already a lot higher. 20, 30. 
you can hear it freaking whirring. I think that's because it's rendering out at the same time. So I'm doing, I've got it doing a lot at the moment. So let's see what the upload is. Upload, if it's over 2, I'll be happy. I don't think it will. I don't think it's 1.56. Go on, lad. Go on. 1.8, that's not so bad. Let's see what it comes out with. 2.9. Okay. I'm happy with that. So I put the camera up. I've got a screen on the back that does 90 degree turn, so if it takes a while for me to turn over. So, that's not bad at all. I mean, ping's pretty high, but... What are you going to do? I don't game anymore. So, it's not a big deal when it comes to that. And that's probably because I'm just uploading so much at once. The two videos go uploading at the same time. Um, I'm going to carry on editing. I just wanted it to render out a little bit. You saw the the song that I'm using in episode 15 as well. Def... Cool, heart a fire. I don't. I, it just sounds good. I don't. I'm not fussed about the name. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I just thought I'd share with you what I got. It cost me twenty five pounds online. It would have cost me twenty nine, and I'd have to wait for it. So if there is an Apple store near you, maybe you just go check it out. It might be more expensive, but it might not be at the same time. So it's always worth to do your research. And I'll speak to you guys a bit later. So guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about something today and I'm going to try and keep it short because all my videos recently have been freaking long and they take not only an age to edit but it's the render time and the upload time that's going to cause an issue as well. So I'm going to try and keep this short um, and just information only. Now, that's already taken up some time, about 20 seconds. Anyway, if you can, sorry, first off, if you can hear any noise in the background, it is my MacBook is rendering at the moment episode 15. Um, and even though it's a powerful bastard, it still makes it quite a little bit of noise. Not complaining, asking it to do a lot. Anyway, when should you start going for PRs, PBs, personal bests in weight or just in general? Um, I think the key thing to think about is, is what the hell you want to do a personal best in. If it's running, you could probably go maybe... If you just want to try and inch a bit further, inch a bit further in length, in distance, then probably try once a week. Try saying, okay, I'm going to run for, I'm going to run one mile, 1.1 mile, 1.2 miles once a week, maybe, maybe even months. I don't know. I don't do much running, so I'm not the person to ask about that. But if you're looking for things like um, <clears throat> less compound movements, maybe go for once a month, once every two months um, because you're not putting yourself in a risk if you pull a bicep or something you're not going to be out for as long as if you pull your chest for example so maybe going for a bicep curl if you're doing like uh, like for me for example I'm doing barbell curls at the moment I go for them roughly once every two three weeks because I don't feel like it's good it's, if, it, if it doesn't move it doesn't move I'm not going to hurt myself by doing it um, I could get someone to assist me or something like that. But if you're going for the main three, and when I say the main three, I mean uh, deadlift, a squat, and a bench press, going for a PR once every week or going for your PB every week, meaning what you can do 100% every week is going to end up hurting you. Now, a lot of people that start lifting very early on will either do this and find it out the hard way or they'll think, actually, do you know what? This can't be doing my body any good. Sorry, hiccup. Um, so, when should you start doing it? Right. So, what I try and do, and it is hard to keep track, um, is I'll go, especially with a bench press because it's such an awkward position, is I'll go for about 80% of my max to 90 so I'll very, very rarely go for the full 100%, which for me is 100 kilos, but I've only done it once, so I don't know whether it counts. So for me, 80%, 80 kilos. I do that quite frequently. I feel that um, eight, once I get 80 to uh, 80 kilos to a rep range where I can do eight, I'm going to start then pushing to the 100 a bit more um, and go from there. So base it on what you can do with 80% or 90% or 70%. Um, if you're trying to build strength, I wouldn't suggest going anywhere under 70% of your max. At that point, it's just going to do extra reps and it's not going to... Your body and central nervous system will not get the abuse it needs, as some of them were saying that. They won't get the abuse it needs to get you used to that 100 kilos or whatever you're going for. 
Um, so that's definitely uh, something that I would suggest. Now squats, squats are a bit different. Depends on what you're targeting. Now, if you're just a, I say just, but if you're a power lifter sort of person where you want to go get to parallel and go back up, parallel to go back up, you only want to do one rep, maybe once, depending on what your PR is, PB, if it's quite small, and when I say quite small, I mean like under two, um, under, under 315 pounds, so that's under 240 kilos. Um, and I don't mean that as derogatory, I mean that in other words, it is, in a powerlifting sense, it's, it's quite a small amount. Like for example, 100 kilos is a small PR for a bench press, uh, uh, 140 is a small PR for a deadlift. If you're just starting out, it's fine, don't take anything from that, but it is the sort of weights that aren't going to hurt you too much if you mess them up. Um, now, if you're, as, as I say, if you're squatting not so heavy, then you could probably go maybe once a month, once every two months, but once you start going over that mark and start going into the um, over 300, uh, 300 pound mark and maybe a bit more, maybe once every two months, once every three months, and work on 80% most of the time. Especially when shredding. When shredding, you want to still be pushing, training exactly the same. You do not want to go to high rep ranges, and that's just a myth. It's not going to do anything for you other than you lose your strength when doing it. And your central nervous system will not be used to it. So when you do go back and think, okay, I've got a load of carbs in me, I can now go for my PRs again, your body's going to be like, oh, wait, what? I'm not used to that. So you want to try and keep your central nervous system going, your strength going. It's going to make you stronger and if sometimes you can even hit a PR during a shred. The likelihood is you won't, I have, but it's a bit of an odd one. It's not doesn't happen very often. That's just a little insight to PRs. I think this is gonna be the end of the video for today. I haven't got much left to do. So I will speak to you guys tomorrow for some chest and triceps. Now remember what I said the other day, chest I'm gonna be doing barbell work and I'm gonna be doing flyers in case um like dumbbell fly stuff. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.